This year's Kinetic Grand Championship coverage is brought to you by Humboldt Beer Works, offering beer, wine, and cheese making supplies for the Humboldt Nation. And Little Shop of Hers, Old Town's vintage store offering clothes for girls and guys, unique gifts, records, jewelry, and more. And Mekong Cafe, offering authentic cuisine from Thailand and Laos in Old Town Eureka. And Sherrick's Recycling. And Hey, this is Jessamine Reed over at Readcraft. We're stoked to sponsor this year's Kinetic Video Team. Go team! Readcraft.com Equipment and training to produce Glory Road was provided by Access Humboldt. The first day is underway and sculptures are moving across the sand. Vega Queen, Emma the Enchantress, coming at you from Dead Man's Drop. My favorite part of the course, the coolest ride, the best roller coaster in the whole wide world. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are kind of focused on the thrill and, and yes, danger of going down Dead Man's Drop because there is real danger here. Uh, they're kind of not thinking about the fact that you've got to come up before you can go down, baby. So after you leave Arcata and you come down the beach a few miles, you got to climb up and up and up these dunes, like these guys, our first fastest teams. They're gonna be the first ones that get to go down Dead Man's Drop. Lord knows how they made it here this fast. I was in a car on the streets, and they're here practically the same time I am. Okay, Lord, what the hell be more fun? Trying to kill us! Carbon Day Day history, ladies and gentlemen. Could you please back up, crowd? Give them at least 10 feet so that their pit crew can do their job. Is that all you got? Is that freaking 100 pound line? Oh my God. Right, sir, sir. Oh, we got good Be supportive. You're carving your way through history. Dr. Kelly. Here we go. Here we go. Good luck. Watch your way down the street.
Run over the girl and just <laughs> I built this kinetic sculpture. Um, I've been racing for now four years. This will be my fourth race, this KGC 2014. I built a 10 person kinetic sculpture. It both floats, it goes across sand, it has a sail. We have 10 people that pedal it and one pilot that does nothing but barnacle. It features 28 separate loops of chain. That includes one for the steering. That includes two chains for the paddle wheel. For our transmission, we have sand gear forward, sand gear reverse, and a highway gear so that we can pass everybody on the plaza. And the paddle wheel can all be raised and lowered and engaged and disengaged from the pilot seat. We have a very loud horn on board, which I shall honk. We have our brake lever right here. We have our shifter right here. I've got sand gear forward, sand gear reverse, and then highway gear. We've got the rudder. If you look at the back of the machine, that's the rudder. I'm turning left or port and now starboard. And here we have a repurposed Ford Ranger four wheel drive chassis. If I lock the front hubs right here, we've got all wheel drive. We use this on the sand and in the mud. 
Reverse comes in real handy in that Corvallis and Port Townsend mud. This transmission is to replace the original truck transmission. We've got highway gear here. We've got our sand reverse gear here, and we've got our forward sand gear here, all of which can be shifted up from the cab. So I never have to come down here and put my hand to a chain to take us from highway to sand gear. Anytime the machine rolls, this loop of chain will turn, and there's a shift dog right here, which we engage or disengage to actually get our wheel power, our pedals powering the wheels. Here we are showing the twisted chain that I'm so famous for on my machine. And you'll see that the chain is twisted from here to here. Now you're looking at the edge of the chain, and here you're looking at the side of the chain. There's a twist inside this tube. The Mobius strip. Normally a chain would go together like such, but I take and I turn the chain and then make it together. I'll remind you again, for the pilots on the back of the machine, all you really see is air. We love fireworks! Kind of a standard. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
their machine they're at the very tippy top of dead man's drop i ask them is it time are you going they say we don't know
It's the end of day one. Here are your top five in speed. At the front of the pack, with a time of two hours and four minutes, Trilo Bike is followed closely by Brown Chicken Brown Cow, with two hours and seven minutes. With a time of two hours and 23 minutes, Low Tech No Tech crosses the finish line in Halverson Park. Dr. Pedal and Mr. Ride with a time of three hours and 20 minutes, followed closely at a time of three hours and 27 minutes by Old Tech. It's been a long and arduous day. Teams have traveled over 10 miles of street and several miles of sand dunes, and we witnessed a gut-wrenching crash by Dwayne Flatmo and his doomed buggy at Dead Man's Drop, earning him the coveted Golden Flipper Award for the sand. Will we see a Golden Flipper in the water this year? Tune in tomorrow to find out on the next episode of Glory Road.